and then reaching down and through. Good, we're gonna change sides, so plant that left hand, this time right fingertips reaching up, so we rotate upwards towards the ceiling, right hand reaching up, and then that right hand reaches under the left, dropping that shoulder down towards the mat, good. This is two, reaching that right hand up, and then rotating down and through, and then last one here, reaching up, and then rotating down and through, nice. Maybe feeling a few clicks through the back there. Planting that hand back onto the mat. We're now gonna to look to open up through the hips. So I want you to take your left leg out to the side and the sole of the foot's gonna plant onto the floor with toes pointing forward the same way that your fingers are. Now from here, tuck the toes of the knee that's bent and we're then gonna sit the hips back into those heels. No, sorry, it's that single heel. Using those hands just to drive those hips back so you're using them to add a little bit more pressure. Rocking forwards, we do that again. So sit those hips back, and you should feel a nice stretch through that left adductor there. So opening up through the hips, and we're going to do this a couple of times. So sitting those hips back, good, and then last time, and then we'll swap sides. Nice. Bringing that leg in, good. We take the other leg out now. We do the same on the other side. So sole of the foot plant onto the floor, tucking the toes of the knee that's bent, and then using those hands just to guide your hips backwards opening up through that right adductor there and really just opening up through the hips good this is three we're going to go for one more here last one good and four bringing that knee back in keeping the hands where they are i now want you to step your hand up it's not step your hands sorry step your feet back into a plank position so finding a solid plank position and just holding here for a second to feel the core really activate so drawing that belly button underneath you, feeling the glutes squeeze, feeling the shoulder blades drawing down, chin tucked, and then when you're ready, lifting that left leg, bringing it to the outside of that left hand, you come into a nice long lunge. Now you can gently lower that back knee if you want to, or if it feels more comfortable, you can keep it up, whatever's best. And now from here, we're gonna rotate again towards the ceiling. So left hand reaches up towards the ceiling, and then we're gonna fold that arm in half, reaching that left elbow now down towards the floor. So again, it's a nice rotation. Changing sides, same on the other side. This time, right leg steps forwards. Right hand reaches up and opens. Right elbow reaches down towards the floor. Changing again, left side. Left foot comes forwards, opening up, and then reaching that left elbow down towards the mat. Same again on the right. And then we'll do that one more time on each side. Good. Left foot leg forwards again, reaching up. And then last time on the right here, bringing that right leg forwards, opening up, elbow comes down. And then when you're ready, take that leg back and then take those hips nice and high. Find your way to a downward dog or a downward V. Just pressing out through the heels here, feeling that nice stretch of the backs of the calves and the hamstrings. And just taking a moment here. Good. Just easing out those legs. And then when you're ready, gently walking those feet towards the hands, soften through the knees, and then coming up to standing, rolling all the way up, head's the last thing to come up. Good. Last little part of our warm up, and then we're going to start. I want you to find a comfortable squat position. So feet are going to go slightly wider than hip width. And you can always play around with your squat positioning. Everyone's squat's going to look different. So don't worry about what I'm doing. Try and find something that feels most comfortable for you. But from here, I'm looking for heels staying on the ground as I sit back into my squat. And then those elbows are just gonna come inside of my knees. And I'm just gonna rock from side to side, just opening up through those hips. Just feeling that nice stretch at the bottom, maybe peeling up the heels now, just to allow yourself that little bit of extra wiggle room. And then from here, hands come to toes. Take those hips up towards the ceiling. We're gonna fold over our legs here. So folding forwards. Feeling that nice stretch at the back of the hamstrings and then hips go back down, finding your way back into that squat. And again, hips go high, folding yourself over, and then hips come down. Good, last time, hips go high. Last time coming down, elbows inside of knees and coming up to standing, shake everything out. Good work, how are we feeling? Hopefully nice and warm and ready to go. So like I said, we're working through three supersets today. So I'm gonna to talk you through each one as we go, so no worries. 
and hopefully explain a little bit about form and technique so you get at that too. So the first thing you're going to need is to grab your dumbbells or whatever you're using and I'm going to talk you through the first two exercises. So we have a lower body exercise and an upper body exercise. Now for our lower body exercise, we're going to go for a goblet squat. So for that, we're coming into that squat position that we just did. And then we're scooping the hands up and underneath our dumbbell. And from here, bringing that dumbbell in towards the chest, thinking about drawing the elbows in towards the ribcage. And then keeping that chest nice and tall as we sit down and we drive up. Okay? We have 10 of those. And then from there, you're going to need both dumbbells as we come down to the floor for a floor press. So lying ourselves back, I want you to make sure you get into this exercise nice and safely. So first things first, bring the weight onto the legs and then gently lower yourself back. And then from here, we're looking for the elbows coming down at a 45 degree angle, just touching the floor and then driving up. So really looking for that nice slow tempo and just using that to really challenge the arms as we come into our floor press. So those are our first two exercises. We have 10 reps on each of those, and then we get a 30 second rest in between each set. So getting ready to go, grab your dumbbell, count your reps with me, and we are gonna go in three, in two, let's do this, in one. Here we go, 10 reps, lowering down, that's one. Squeezing as we come to the top, and really focusing on that slow tempo as we lower down. This is three. Keep those heels on the ground, keep that chest tall. Four. Nice. Five. Good. This is six. Seven. Almost there, now let's go. Three more, this is eight. Keep those heels on the ground, nine. And last one, slow tempo as we lower down. That's 10, good. Down to the floor, straight into our second exercise. So again, remember we bring the weight into the legs first, rolling ourselves back, hands up ahead, and let's go, 10 reps. Tapping that elbow to the floor, one. Slowly lowering down, driving up, two. Three, nice. Four. Five, good, halfway. Six. Seven. Eight. Two to go, nine, and last one, good. Bring those weights into your chest, coming up to seated. We have 30 seconds, so take a little break, grab some water if you need it, and then we're straight back into our goblet squat. So really focusing on here and maximizing our rest, trying not to rush into the next exercise. We're taking a little bit of rest, allowing our bodies to recover, and then we're straight back in with that goblet squat. So 15 seconds down, 15 to go, and then grabbing your dumbbell, we're gonna find that squat position and go for set two of three. And we are going in five, so hands on that dumbbell, elbows squeezing in towards the ribcage, in three, two, and one. Here we go, set two, nice and slowly as we lower down, driving up, one. Good. Two, keep that chin tucked a little bit, keep long through the back of the neck. Three, nice. That's four. Five, good. Six. Seven. Three to go. Eight. Nine, and last one. 10, good, nice work, coming down to the floor, same again, so bringing those weights into the legs, and then rocking yourself back, 10 reps, here we go, slowly lowering down, elbow kisses the ground, one, nice, two, three, nice, four, five, six, Seven, good. Three to go. Eight, nine, and last one. Good, 10. Bring those weights into the chest. Coming up to standing, we take another 30 seconds. So breathing through. Two sets down, one to go, and then we move on. So stay with it. Maybe try and get that extra little push this last set. So maybe it's that you slow the tempo down a little bit just to make it that bit more challenging. Maybe it's that you uh, add a few extra reps if you have it in the tank. So stay with me, and we're gonna get ready to go. In 10, grabbing that dumbbell, we go in five, four, three, two, 
and one. Let's go, last set. So really slowing down that eccentric portion now, driving up, that's one. Good, two. And three, keep that chin tucked, keep that neck nice and long. Four. Five, good. Six, squeeze those glutes under at the top. Seven. Eight, two to go, last two. Nine. And 10, nice work. Coming down to the floor, really good job. Coming down, so grabbing those weights. Last time on our floor press, and then we are moving on. So grabbing those weights, bring them into the chest, rocking back, and then let's go 10 reps. One, two, good. Three, four, five, six, four to go now. Nice work, keep going, seven, Eight, last two, nine, and ten. Good, weights into the chest, really nice work guys. Coming up to standing, take a second, grab some water if you need it, and now I'm going to talk you through our next superset. So we are one down, you can forget all about that, and we're now moving on to our next superset. So two exercises again. So that first superset we really focused on knee flexion and on pushing motions. We're now going to move into hip flexion and pulling motion, so an opposing movement. So for the first exercise, we're looking for an RDL, so a Romanian deadlift. So you're going to need both dumbbells or whatever you're using in your hands. We're looking for feet underneath the hips and a soft bend in the knees, so we're not completely locked out through the legs. We just have a nice little soft bend. Then from here, we're hinging at the hip, keeping those weights really nice and tight to the front of the legs. So as you can see, I'm keeping them in contact with my shins. Pausing at depth, again remember that chin stays tucked, and then we drive up to standing. So we have 10 of those. Remember, keep those weights nice and close to the body. From there, we're gonna keep the same hinged position. So we're gonna come into that hinged position, and then from here, staying in this position, we're gonna draw the elbows back into a bent over row. So what I'm looking for is that sweeping arc motion with the elbow drawing it back towards the ribcage, squeezing and feeling that activation as my lat and my shoulder blade draw back and down, and then thinking about releasing nice and slowly as the weight comes back down. So really focusing on a nice smooth pull and creating that arcing motion with the elbow. So again, RDLs, 10 reps, and then we're straight into our bent over row, 10 reps. So are we ready? Grabbing the dumbbells, superset number two, getting ready to go. So grab those dumbbells, remember feet under the hips, Soft bend through the knees, 10 reps, here we go. So really focusing on that slow eccentric portion, pausing at depth, we drive up, that's one. So really breaking it down, slowing it down. Two, good. Three, nice. Four, five, Good, halfway, really focus on slowing it down. Six, almost there now, four to go. Seven, eight, last two coming up, this is nine. And last one, 10. Good, coming up to standing. So keeping that same position, bending over, ready for 10 reps of our bent over row in three, Two, one, we go. One, squeezing back and down. Two, three, nice. Four, five, remember that arcing motion, gazes to the floor. Six, seven, eight, last two, nine, and last one, that's 10. Good, popping those weights down. Take a 30 second rest, good work guys. So just try and remember in these two exercises that the neck is an extension of the spine and we're looking to keep nice and long through the neck in all of our movements. So if that means we're in a hinge position, we don't jut the chin forwards like this, we try and keep the gaze down to the mat and keep nice and long through our cervical spine, so through our neck. So really try and focus on that. So in these two exercises, it's really important you try to imagine you've always got like an orange under your chin that you're trying to keep in place rather than jutting the chin forwards. 
Good, are we ready to go? Set two, get it ready to go. 10 reps, soft bend through the knees, let's go. One, two, nice. Three, four, good. Five, halfway, five to go. Six, seven, Eight, last two, big drive, nine, and last one, when you're ready, ten. Keeping those weights nice and close. Good, keep those weights in your hands. Coming into that bent over position again. Ten reps, here we go. Squeezing back, one. Creating a nice strong back, two. Three, nice. Four. Five, halfway. Six. Seven, eight, nine, and last one, ten. Good, popping those weights down. Nice work, guys. Two sets down, one set to go. Take 30 seconds, grab some water if you need it, and then we're moving into our third and final set here. Doing really, really well. So take 30 seconds, breathing through, just one more set here, and then we move on to something else. So another 15. And then ready to go straight back into those RDLs. So see if you can try and play around with tempo again in this round. So trying to make it that little bit harder. Can you slow down that lowering phase a little bit more? So grabbing your dumbbells, getting ready to go. Last set in three, in two, and one. Here we go. Hinging from the hip, pausing at depth. That's one. Good. Two. Three. Nice.
six, keep that body slightly forwards, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now counting down, here we go. Ten, nine, eight, this is seven, six, five, good, four, three, almost there, two, and one, good work, you can pop those dumbbells down, we're done with them for now, so coming down to the mat, making sure we really get that set up good, so elbow under the shoulder, nice and stacked, fist driving down into the mat, knees bent, feet together, 10 reps, here we go, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, good work, changing sides, so same again on the other side, elbow down, knees bent, feet together, using that bottom leg to drive you down, let's count down, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, flipping yourself onto your front. Don't forget we've got 30 second plank hold in three, two, and one. We go, squeeze and hold. 30 seconds here, drawing those shoulder blades down, chin tucked, squeezing those inner thighs together. Good, 10 seconds down, 20 to go. Holding here, imagine you've got a piece of paper between your inner thighs and you're trying to squeeze it really tightly. 10 seconds to go. Stay with me. Finishing in five, and three, two, and one. Good, gently lower your knees. 30 seconds, good, nice work. So hopefully that was a bit of a challenge, adding in some different exercises there. We have two more rounds of that before we move into our finisher. So grab some water and then we're straight back into those reverse lunges. You've had 15 seconds of your rest. So 15 to go, and then we're straight back in. In five, getting ready to go. So grab those dumbbells. We go in three, in two, and one. Let's do this. Stepping back, step two. One, two. Slowly does it. Three, four, good. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Halfway, ten to go. Counting down. Ten, and nine, eight, seven, six, almost there. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good job, popping those weights down, nice work. Coming down to the floor, we're ready for our side cam bridges. Elbow down, remember we stack nice and, um, with the elbow on, uh, sorry, the elbow sitting under the shoulder, knees bent, feet together, and let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. You're changing sides. Nice work, guys. Making sure we set up again on the other side. Ready to go. Counting down. Let's go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Nice work. Turning onto our front. I almost forgot that we had our plank. 30 second hold. Let's go in three, two, and one. Taking those legs back, squeeze and hold. 30 seconds here. Drawing those shoulder blades down. Good, nice work. Breathing through. Almost there now. Finishing in 10. Good, squeezing those inner thighs together. And five and three, two, and one. Gently lower those knees. Nice work. Two rounds down of that. One to go, and then we are into our finisher. 
Woo! So take your 30 seconds, grab your dumbbells in a second, and then we're into our final round here. So really try and give it everything. I'm gonna add in a sneaky few extra reps. So stay tuned for that. Grabbing your dumbbells, we're getting ready to go in five. Last set here, in three, in two, and one. Here we go, 20 reps of these. One, two, three, four, good. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. We're halfway, counting down, stay with me. 10, nine, slow it down a bit. Eight, seven, six, five, four, stay with me. Three, two, and one. Good work. You can pop the dumbbells to the side. We are done with those. Whoops, down to the floor, elbow under shoulder. Let's go for 15 reps now. So we've managed 10. Let's see what 15 feels like. So elbow under the shoulder, 15 reps. Let's do this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Counting down. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Changing sides. 15 again. Stay with me. Elbow down, knees bent, feet together. 15 reps. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ah, ten, five, counting down. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Flipping onto our front, it's not over yet. Bring those elbows down to the mat, 30 second hold in three, two, and one. We go holding here, final push on this superset, and then we're into our finisher. Drawing those shoulder blades down, chin tucked, gaze towards the mat, 15 seconds to go. Stay with me now. Holding here for another 10. Breathing through. Squeezing those inner thighs together. Final five. And three. Two. And one. Good work, team. Well done. Woo! Bit of a sweaty one. So, stay with me. We're not done yet. We have our finisher. So, a really easy, kind of quick finisher that I'm throwing on the end just to really challenge you today. So, we have two exercises paired back to back. Now, if you join my challenge, this might feel fairly familiar because we used it as one of our finishers in the challenge. So we have two exercises paired back to back. We work for 20 seconds on each exercise and we do that three times round, no rest. Then you're done and you can enjoy the rest of your day. So for our first exercise, it's nice and simple, probably one of your favourites or your most hated exercises. We're going to bring our chest to the floor in a full burpee. So chest comes to the floor, drive those feet through, and up into a jump. Now, if that's too challenging, or you're living flat and you don't want to wake anyone up, just go for a step out. So bring your hands to the floor, stepping out, and then stepping back in and up to standing, okay? We pair that with a wall sit. So nice and easy. I want a 90 degree angle at the knee. We just slide down to a wall, and we hold here, smiling and enjoying every second of it <laughs> for 20 seconds. So 20 on, 20, 20, 20, three times round, and then you are done. So getting ready to go. Choose your form of burpee, so obviously go for the harder one if you want to, or the easy one if that's better for you, and then I'll wall sit, and we are going. Let's do this in five, four, three, two, and one. Here we go. Try and challenge yourself in this last little bit. How much can you get through? Really try to push yourself, good. Just 20 seconds on each. That's nothing. Well, you can do it. Good. Getting ready for your wall sit in five and three, two, and one. Straight to your wall, sitting down 20 seconds. We're going to get some shaky legs here. I can feel it already. Good. 10 seconds down. It's going to go quick. Stay with me. 10 seconds down. 
Final five. And three, two, and one. Straight back to the mat, coming down. Let's go, burpees, 20 seconds. Bring those feet in, we jump. Good, nice work, guys. Moving through at your own pace. Final five seconds coming up here. In three, two, and one. Let's go to the wall. 20 seconds. We hold here. Good, nice work. Breathing through. Just one more round after this, so stay with me. 10 seconds down, 10 to go. Doing really, really well. Final five, and three, two, and one. Let's go, last set now, to the floor. 20 seconds, jumping through. Woo. 20 seconds on each, and then you are done. Breathing through, good. Final five seconds coming up. In three, in two, and one. Let's go to that wall. Let's go 20 seconds. In three, two, one. We hold. Staying here, final push now, and then we have a little cool down. Feeling those legs quivering. 10 seconds down, 10 to go. Whew. Getting that breath back. Final five, and three, two, and one. Good work, guys. Really nice job. Woo! So coming down to your mat, let's just take you through a little bit of a cool down. So bringing the knees to the mat, take the knees nice and wide. We're just gonna drop that chest through, finding our way into a nice child's pose here. A nice, easy stretch. Just finding the breath again. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Finding some stillness. Good. When you're ready, swimming those hips through, dropping them down towards the mat, just opening up through the chest here, and just swinging from side to side, just feeling that nice opening through the front body. Drawing the shoulder blades down, Good. And then when you're ready, tucking the toes, sending the hips nice and high, binding away into a downward dog, just pressing out through the heels. Good. Just taking a moment to bring the weight into one foot and then the other. Nice. Good. From here, lifting that left leg, let the left foot fall to the right side. So opening up through the front of that hip. And then maybe just go for a few ankle circles there. Just breathing through. And then changing sides. Right leg lifts up. Good. Just a few ankle circles there. Sorry about the noise. Bringing that leg down. From here, step that left leg forward. Just find your way, elbows to the mat, allowing that leg just to fall open. A nice deep stretch on that left side. Good, and then same on the right. So coming back up onto your hands, bringing that left leg back, right leg steps forward, dropping that back knee, and then just finding your way onto your forearms. Good. Finding that breath, good, nice work guys. From here, find your weight onto your backs. We're gonna hug those knees in towards the chest. Just giving ourselves a nice big hug. Rocking from side to side. Just feeling that nice easing through the lower back there. And then when you're ready, straightening that right leg, keeping hold, sorry, straightening that left leg, keeping hold of the right. Dropping that right leg to the left. Just go for a nice lumbar twist here. And then same on the left. So now straightening that right leg, bending that left leg, taking that right uh, left leg over to the right, sorry. I've lost my brain. <laughs> lost it in the workout. Good. Just finding that nice lumbar twist. When you're ready, just coming back into the center, give yourself one final little hug. Well done for completing today's workout. And then slowly, slowly rolling yourself up 
flip yourself over, find your way into a forward fold. So just hanging over those legs, allowing the body just to fall forwards, grabbing either elbow, letting the weight of those arms just pull you down, relaxing through the neck. And then when you're ready, softening through the knees, slowly, slowly rolling up to standing. Woo! Guys, thank you so, so much for joining today's workout as part, as part of Women's Health Live Weekend. I'm so honoured to be a part of it and I really hope you enjoyed today's session. Um, I've got some really exciting things coming out this year. Um, so if you enjoyed the style of today's workout, if you want to work with resistance, if you want to get stronger and physically fitter, then please do check me out either on Instagram or with my big new project that's launching this year. Have a great day and thanks again for joining me.